So there are six steps in the manipulation technique. First is the localization of the tailor's head. Then there is a stabilization of the tailor's head and the medial angular. So you means you have to fix the tailor's in the ankle joint. You should not allow the movement of tailor's, but allow the free movements at the subtalar joint, hind foot and the forefoot. Then you need to supinate. Third step is supination of the first meter because this metatarsus is in peronation. You lift this uh, big uh, metatarsus first so that correct the in the supination. So it will correct the metatarsus, cavus of the metatarsus adductus and the cavus deformity. And while in the third, fourth step, you have to maintain this supination and do more abduction and abduction more to achieve the abduction nearly 30 to 50 degree of abduction with the frontal plane. Once you achieve these movements of the 30 degree abduction and supination of the forefoot, you will see there is a correction of wheel, simultaneous correction of the heel and some degree of equinus is also corrected. And the sum lastly is the correct, uh, remaining correction after plantigrade uh, position achieved, you need to correct the equinus. So how to stabilize, uh, how to localize you have to place a thumb on the lateral valvulus, and then you go down anteriorly, you will find a two knobs. The upper and anterior knob will be the talus, and the lower and lateral knob will be the calcanean. So you have to stabilize the talus, as you can see here, the talus is, is stabilized with the big toe, and the one index finger, your index finger it is the, at the medial valvulus. And again, on this foot, you can see the talus, is stabilized here and forefoot and the medial malarus with the index finger and then horizontally move by move the for, uh, the forefoot abduct in abduction with supination of the forefoot. So this is the localization of the uh, talus and stabilization of the talus. This is the one and two. So stabilize the talus again, as you can see on this model. So there is a two knobs here, lower and lateral is the calcarean, upper and the dorsal anterior is the talus. Here you have to stabilize this. And this is again another position you can see. So once you held, hold the talus secured in the ankle mortis, then you have to supinate the first, first ray. When you supinate the first ray, it will correct the coronation twist and the cavus of the forefoot. And in the meanwhile, it also corrects the varus of the heel and to some degree, the equinus is also correct. So, so this is the uh, how to correct the supination, to do the supination and correct the cavus or the coronator twist. That is by lifting the first tibetar tarsal up while stabilizing the tailor head in the ankle mortis. So once you achieve the abduction, supination, then you have to maintain the supination with more abduction and more abduction to achieve at least 50 degree of abduction with the transverse plane of the trivia. But you never, never touch the mid tarsal joint, no on the calcan, not on the cubite, but stabilization only over the tailor head. So then how to assess the abduction, whether you achieve abduction or not? There is, a, in this, there are three methods. One is unavailable to palpate the tailor head. With tailor head, in you, when you initially see is big prominent uh, knob, you can feel, but as the gradual abduction is achieved, ultimately you will not found the tailor anterior head, tailor head in the lateral side because it got corrected. And then ability to palpate the anterior process of the calcaneum. This is a little bit difficult, I will show you. And then abduction of the forefoot or 60 70 in relation of the frontal of plane of the tibia. So this is the anterior, anterior process of the calcaneum. Usually the navicular is very near to this. And uh, once this navicular is moved, away in here, the navicular and anterior process, which is filled here usually, they move in abduction, you will feel the gap and anterior process you can find. But when there is a killer foot, you will find this knob that is called the tailor head anteriorly. But when gradual correction get corrected, so you cannot, you will feel flatness here, but no knob at the uh, tailor head. So then it comes that you have got corrected the uh, abduction, you have significant. Other is the this relationship of this forefoot midray along with the frontal plane of this uh, tibia, then you can also say there is a correction of the. Yeah. Then fifth step, yeah, sixth step is the correction of the equinus tepari. You have to manipulate in foot darsiflate with one head under the sole, grasping heel and thumb like this, or this way, 
so that you should not only push the forehead forefoot up and produce raka devata, but complete forefoot you have to stretch down to achieve a planting grade position. Once you achieve the planting grade position, remaining correction will be mostly in most of the children by the percutaneous stenotomy.